Welcome to Family Gamer TV and we're starting off our PJ Masks episode today with an exclusive look at Owlet and you can see how this figure lights up in the dark. If we switch the lights on, again you can see the level of detail and her chest plate is absolutely invisible until you turn the lights out, press her chest and then she lights up as do each of the other characters too. So have a look in detail as we swoop around at how these moulded figures um, are looking. I certainly like the look of Romeo and Luna Girl and Night Ninja there, our three um, baddies facing off against Owlet, um, Catboy and Gecko. There's a lot of great attention to detail, not just only in the sculpts of their hair and their bodies, but also check out their eyes. There's a real sort of lifelike glint in the eyes of each of our heroes. Here you can see we've got a bunch of them, they're stood on bases. So let's get them up in front of the camera. Gecko, of course, has got his um, classic symbol on his chest and the suit look, makes him look like he's wearing a kind of a lizard skin. We're just, just picking up um, our next uh, Catboy figure. He's a bit tricky to get in focus. And again, there's more, um, more colour here than Gecko. You've got some highlights, those light blue Catboy lightning strikes, much to signify his action and his movement. And if we can just get a hold of Owlet, we'll get her up. Ooh, get her up in front of the camera. It's just being a bit tricky. And again, you've got Owlet. Now, this is the non-light-up version of the figure. We saw at the beginning of the show, we had that light-up version. But again, Owlet, she's got her wings out and she's got that glide ability too. So as we move on from our heroes to our villains, um, of course, you need to have some enemies to play. And we've got Luna Girl. You can see her mask there, a sort of baggy, flappy coat around the back and the moon symbol on her torso. Some nice sculpted grey hair and she's got her surfboard, of course, that she can ride. Now, who's next? Of course, it should be Romeo. I think if we just get him up in front of the camera. Again, I like the way Romeo looks with those big inventor goggles, um, his bright blue eyes um, obscured behind them. And you can really see a lot of detail and you get to, to turn them around see front and back his lovely sort of teal green gloves he's got that evil glint in his eye of what dastardly plan he's going to come up with next and then last of all of course we've got night ninja if we just get them in front of the camera again all suited much more mysterious villain here um smaller than the other two and again stood on their base and a little bit like Catboy and his sort of blue lightning. So as we just finish the series you can come down and we'll have one last look at the figures in the dark and Owlet there light up in all her glory. Can't wait to have a look at these. Do subscribe to the channel and we'll have more for you soon.